Hello and welcome to another massive cabot time with a ton of watches. As you can see, um, well, or you might not, there's 73 Omega watches, about 14 Rolex, 20 Cartier, Jack Edros, 2 Audemars Piguet, um, some Jaeger Le Coultre, Universal Genève, a bunch of Longines, and then a few other brands. Anyway, let's start at the top as always. We've got some simple Omega, a quartz Omega Deville with integrated bracelets, some oval pieces. Um, then we've got these tonneau pieces, some square, um, some tanks, and then two ladies pieces. And then um, a men or unisex uh, Omega Deville emerald. This one is also with integrated bracelet, quite pretty. Next row we have Omega Genève. Uh, with a few special color dials. First up we start with the white dials, just some simple pieces. But here we go, the first hit of uh, well special pieces is this uh, blue dial Genève. This is uh, caliber 1481 with the push um, quick set date. It's the same model as these two other white dials right of it. So these three are the same model, just uh, a blue dial and then these are white sunburst. Then we've got this incredible purple sunburst Genève as well. And then these two sharp grey sunbursts as well. And of course a lot of uh, very sharp white sunburst dials. Next up we have a bunch of others, also a lot of special dials. First up we've got this super crisp Omega Deville, um, this is like a oval tank whatever, with original strap buckle and box, super sharp condition near mint. Then this Omega Deville Pavé d'Or, this is the men's size and the automatic which is quite rare. Another um, tank tonneau uh, automatic, very thin model. Then a beautiful grey brushed dial. Um, this incredible blue sunburst gold plated square case very stunning super crisp deville uh, monocoque this white linen dial this uh, caliber 560 uh, which is quite rare um, supposedly only 3000 um, caliber 560 movements were ever made and uh, well all you see us cases uh, spread over about 12 different models um, so yeah that makes them quite uh, collectible this 36 millimeter uh, the fill with great tapestry dial it patinated a little bit into like purple bluish color very stunning this really stunning um, green vignette dial let's grab it for a bit of a closer shot this one is just incredible and has developed a nice spider patina there you go. It's like it looks pristine from up front, and then when light hits it under the right angle, the spider comes out. Very, very cool. Next to it, we've got this super crisp blue dial as well. This one, a uh, rare, um, rare model, the Omega Automatic, no Genève, no Deville, nothing, and just super stunning. And the dial is just absolutely mint. And next to it, we've got um, a white dial C case, the Ville, and then this, the CKC Master Cosmic with the grey ghost dial with loom. Just such a pretty piece, something you never find. Um, and in really, really nice, all original condition. Next up we've got Seamasters. We start with Seamaster Genève. This one is a white sunburst Seamaster Genève. As you might know the Seamaster Genève is uh, from 1967-1968 when Omega started transitioning its Seamaster uh, its Seamaster line into the Genève line. So uh, it uses the case of the Seamaster 600 and then um, the dial just has Genève marking because uh, at first they were using up their um, stock of cases and then they used the same exact case and model 
uh, but without CMOS or marking and this one as you can see has uh, some Japanese or Korean whatever I am not an expert on that uh, text on it and yeah just very very sharp original condition next to it another beautiful Seamaster Genève uh, no this is a Seamaster Deville um, as you can see also Seamaster but this is the monocoque model so it's a one piece case uh, the movement comes out from the front and just a really really stunning blue dial obviously the video doesn't do it justice but it looks incredible in the flesh and then not just one but two Seamaster 600s with a rare um, sign dial so this one is totally signed has some um, some bubble pattern on the dial um, there we go and then this one is Meister signed this one also has some light pattern but very nice condition overall and then we have two of the same model this is a 166037 uh, this Seamaster automatic, the left is superb condition, right also a nice condition with some pattern at the top and a replaced crown. Then we've got a Seamaster 30, this one has some pattern, it is a bigger size, about 35.5 mm diameter without crown. We've got two Seamaster Devils with the classic Deville case back as you know them. The steel one has some pattern. Uh, well, the other one has some marks, but very nice original condition overall. Then this beauty, this one is a Seamaster Deville Daydate, a pretty rare model. Um, it's a US market model uh, and it was fully, well, near mint, fully original with original strap and buckle. But uh, I believe it was a 25 year of service present. Uh, with an engraving on the back somebody tried to remove the engraving and ended up going through the 14 karat gold fill layer um, from the front you don't see it except on the crown which also got hit a bit but um, yeah it just looks super sharp and as i said original strap and buckle still are in very very good condition the next up two chubby dial omega c masters first one is a full rotor um, superb two-tone dial very nice condition and then next to it we've got a bumper automatic Seamaster calendar also nice dial quite rare model and yeah this one is a gold capped case and this one is a gold filled case then up next we've got this ladies Seamaster automatic this one is full set with books and papers which you have here uh, very very nice all original condition pops so beautifully then next to it we have two sparkle dials both are silver sparkle uh, we've got the 36 millimeter fat luck or shabby luck whatever you want to call it and then the 36 and a half millimeter pipe pan dial both very nice all original condition both look incredible with nice hippocamp on the case back of course Next to it, this big size, this one is, um, I believe, 36 by 44, all original, um, looks a bit like Stormtrooper helmet, um, just special piece, um, the case is a bit, uh, takes a bit of design cues from the Flight Master as well, with the hidden hooded lugs. Then we've got these three, uh, very, very sharp original condition, these two, or um, EQI um, watches the, they uh, were given for uh, the recipient of a scholarship from uh, Yomiuri EQI in Japan and uh, yeah both have a really cool logo on the case back something you never find and then this one is fully original with um, strap buckle and original box as well very nice condition the strap obviously uh, not perfect but the watch itself is super crisp with a beautiful gray brush dial next to it uh, we've got this um, white sunburst with integrated bracelet this silver brushed with uh, original bracelet this fits up to very big wrist a 
think about eight or eight and a half uh, inch wrist and the case is also very big it's 38 millimeter diameter without crown next up we've got not one but two of the exact same model this one is a bit cheaper because the crystal has some wave in it there you see it like i think it was uh, the crystal was polished a bit too hot in the past uh, with a machine and that created this but uh, yeah overall still nice has already been serviced it's ready to ship and then we've got this oh actually they're not the same model this one is an integrated bracelet this one can also take leather strap but comes on original bracelet so this one super sharp condition with original bracelet and original box as well uh, next up the last line for omega uh, we've got this beautiful 1920s or 1930s cushion watch with porcelain dial very nice condition very very light crack in the side um, don't know if you can see it um, but yeah overall super sharp this one also super crisp the case is unpolished and super crisp you never find them this sharp and then a very rare gray khaki dial bumper automatic very thin for its uh, for its age um, a 38 millimeter giant let's get to that i'm just gonna turn on the sound from my phone um yeah this one just incredible piece very very big nice wrist presence this rare omega deville tank uh, omega constellation tank this one has a blue lapis lazuli type um, enamel dial comes with original strap and buckle very rare piece then two ck's constellations this one is the silver brush dial with the mineral crystal uh, comes on original Briggs bracelet and then we've got a white sunburst dial also on original Briggs bracelet this one has patina to the dial still pops quite nicely though then we've got Omega Constellation Manhattan with a nice champagne linen dial and this beautiful Omega Chrono stop this is a pretty sweet piece um, just really beautiful blue dial the dial is superb condition and yeah just something very special um, so basically as the name says it's it's chrono stop so when you push in the pusher it starts running then when you press it and hold it it stops and when you release it it just goes back if you don't hold it it just goes straight back to zero from uh, yeah as soon as you let it go anyway next to it we've got a few more beauties for omega and then we can move on to rolex and others we've got this rare 1990s omega dynamic with a blue electric blue waffle dial this one very rare piece and super pretty just so stunning very comfortable on the wrist as well next to it this jack mayol seamaster chronometer so the automatic version if you love dolphins this is your watch uh, got a lot of dolphins on the dial um, not all of them are facing the right way so yeah i'm sure they're all still alive anyway um beautiful piece this is a limited edition to uh, two thousand uh, to five thousand pieces um and then we've also got the big brother this is a 41 millimeter uh, Omega Seamaster Professional with the blue wavy dial um, it's a bit difficult to see the blue with this light but yeah it's a uh, dark blue like navy blue with a beautiful steel bezel um, this one is from 1995 I believe and lastly for Omega we've got this beautiful Speedmaster this one is uh, reference 145.022-71 from 1970s so right a year after the moon landing very beautiful piece beautiful dial uh, step dial as you can see with a beautiful ghost bezel with original bracelet and the moon engraving of course all right now we can move on to the next portion which is rolex uh, we start with 6694 of which i have plenty uh, first up we've got this super crisp white dial from 1968 this gray sunburst dial very rare um, has some patina but still pretty 
this white dial um, from 1958-59, this 59 with oyster rivet bracelet. Uh, this one has uh, some patina, not all the text is complete. This one is repainted, this one is repainted, that's why they are cheaper. And then this beautiful uh, black glossy dial, it's currently on hold, but uh, we'll see how it pans out. Then this beautiful white linen dial, Datejust, reference 16030, just super stunning. All original with original bracelet as well. The the serial number production and class codes all match then a few 16 0 well actually only two 16 0 13 um, from 1980 something 83 I think this one is 78 and then this beautiful nine uh, 16 0 1 from the 1960s with a butterfly rotor movement Beautiful dauphin hands as well, nice pipe and now just a really sharp piece. Next we, we've got this beautiful blue dial day date and to finish off we've got this blue vignette dial. This one is 18 karat white gold case um, which has custom setting diamonds so it didn't come from Rolex with diamonds, somebody added them at a later time um, but yeah still looks pretty and then we've got two ladies watches this one is uh, unisex it's 30 millimeters by 30 so works for men but uh, can also be worn for women we've got this incredibly stunning lady they just 18 karat solid gold with factory original diamonds very rare bracelet super piece and next to it we've got something a little bit cheaper um, this one is a beautiful uh, Rolex Oyster Precision Reference 6525 uh, with original bracelet from 1958 I believe uh, might be 1960 uh, you can find full info in the description later um, next up we've got this incredible Jacquet Dross this one is uh, 43 millimeter 18 karat white gold really beautiful piece this is the Grand Seconde with see through case back from uh, circa 2002 very very stunning piece and then not one but two Audemars Spiegel we've got this one which is the left is 18 carats white gold uh, very sharp condition and then we've got this one the Audemars Spiegel Creation d'Or um, the corde or cord watch or rope watch whatever you want to call it just a special piece from 1980s 1990s with the rope pattern on the case on the dial on the hands just really cool piece uh, let me just put this away this one fully original with original strap 18 karat solid gold buckle yeah you can't see it and also the original um, box and hang tag it's all in here um, and from there we move on to Piaget and uh, Cartier tanks. This one Piaget 18 karat solid gold beautiful piece um, comes with the original 18 karat solid gold buckle as well. Um, yeah it's a bit difficult to zoom in on the buckle but yeah oh, there we go. Um, we've got a bunch of tanks here. These are four ladies tanks, uh, two quartz and two manual wind. Um, this one are, well, speak for themselves, everyone knows these models. This one is uh, early 1980s, this one is late 1980s. This one is uh, both are 1980s, this one beautiful white spider dial. It's a bit tough to catch a spider, there we go. It's tough to catch a spider pattern, a really stunning piece. And then this blue dial, also really stunning, also a nice spider pattern. Um, next to it we've got a red dial, this one isn't in the best condition, um, has a white spot here, uh, it's quite patinated, yeah, it's reflected in the price. And then these, uh, some simple, also this one, I love the, the gold ribbons, they just pop so beautifully. And then lastly we've got, oh, uh, one is um, a quartz and one is manual winding. 
this one is the quartz and this as I expected the manual winding um, you can tell them apart because this one does say quartz on the back anyway moving on to this Cartier Panther this one is the reference 1100 this one is the unisex size works for men and women as you can tell it's bigger than the men's tank and yeah very nice size anyway moving on uh, so i can sit again we've got the cartier santos galbe automatic this one is a reference 2878 from uh, circa 2010s uh, all original with original strap and buckle uh, deployment clasp then we've got the santos ronde or santos vendome uh, this is a vendome um, nice condition this one does have a scratch here but other than that it's uh, in sharp condition and just looks really pretty this one is the unisex size um, so it's 30 millimeter or 32 33 millimeter then up next we've got the uh, Cartier Cougar this one is a ladies model uh, 27 millimeter with original bracelet and original box and papers as well then we've got a few uh, veil safe and dome pieces these ones are his and uh, hers and his pair this one has a uh, custom diamonds can be removed um, this one uh, hers and his pair in black nice original condition with uh, light spider dial then um, his and hers pair or well if you have a harem this also is suitable um, this one is red the dial is repainted and these ones all are red this one is a bit more burgundy um, this one is the nicest of the pair uh, of the three with uh, original strap and buckle this one um, a repainted dial a bit patinated this one uh, has spider patina moving on we have jaeger le culture memovox but we start with a non jaeger le culture memovox this one is a big size um, i forgot it uh, how big but i believe 38 39 um, also alarm which watch beautiful blue dial just incredible piece um, next week we've got two big size memovoxes this one is 37 and a half this one is 38 um, beautiful pieces and well all come freshly serviced of course and this cool piece the future matic i just love the symmetry in the design um, yeah the crystal has some scratches but i can polish them out uh, beforehand uh, on the right you've got the running seconds on the left you've got the power reserve and the crown is on the back so to set the time you just uh, you slide the crown inwards and then you can rotate the hands into the position you need them to be then you pull the crown back out and it's good to go um, yeah it doesn't have any power reserve so it won't work but there you go um, then next to it another power reserve Le Coultre. this one is a power matic or power wind with a power reserve indicator at uh, 12 this one is quite cool as well basically it's a disc and it just winds up maximum is 40 um, currently not working but will get service before shipping out as well then we've got this super crisp 18 karat solid gold Jaeger Le Coultre ultra thin only 4 millimeter thickness with with original strap and buckle and also original box and papers um, those can be found here just superb condition a real survivor then universal genève a bunch of uh, universal genève calatrava this one with original strap and buckle very nice original condition and then the others have uh, replaced straps but um, yeah still really really pretty pieces this one with the uh, ancient chinese bone script dial the tank and then this rare pole router this one is micro rotor automatic uh, nice condition and quite a rare model um, just yeah really beautiful moving on we have Longin start off with this beautiful blue sunburst dial champagne brush dial another one with date then this white tank this 
beautiful piece with bar bracelet um, this is integrated bracelet so yeah just uh, something special if you like a bigger tank uh, or well bracelet watch um, and then we've got some older pieces this one with uh, nice fancy lugs this one from 1950 uh, dial is heavily patented this one 1942-43 uh, was um, sold to the US in the second world war and yeah also patented dial like marble patina comes with extract from the archives this one as well 18 karat solid gold French market case from 1930s dial is quite patented uh, also comes with extract from the archives Next up we've got uh, Longin, some beautiful piece uh, with uh, like the monogram or whatever dial you would call it. There we go, pops so beautifully. And yeah, this one has some light patina to the dial but just really sink and very thin for an automatic. Next week we've got the 37mm Longin Ultra Cron. This is a nice big size with original uh, with uh, extract on the archives and just got service so it's ready to ship. And next to that we've got uh, Longin Conquest and Longin Liar, I believe this is, uh, both with integrated bracelets, both automatic with see-through case back. And yeah, special pieces, but nothing quite as special as this one. This is a 18 karat solid gold Longin Hunter chronometer and yeah just in superb condition and comes as complete as you can imagine comes with the original box and the original purchase invoice the warranty certificate from 6 september 1926 so almost a hundred years ago this was sold and well written um, originally sold in Surabaya city in Indonesia and this is in Dutch because um, back in 1926 Indonesia was still under Dutch rule um, nowadays they are independent of course comes with the well the complete everything and also has the extract from the archives which confirms it was sold to Indonesia on the 24th of December in 1925 um, so yeah, as complete as it can be, very rare piece actually, you don't come across a lot of uh, Longines chronometer pocket watches, and yeah, with the weight of gold, this one is an absolute bargain. Anyway, moving on, we have a, a bunch of uh, special pieces. First up, we've got this one. This one is an Ulysse Nardin automatic day date, so it's from 1960s, 1970s very sharp all original condition super crisp with original bracelet and yeah just looks so pretty it has the logo on all parts as it should be it's a bit difficult to show it um, under this light but the white brush dial is just so so incredibly beautiful next to it we've got this 1950s Ulysse Nardin automatic this one also superb condition and quite special has a pusher to quick set the date in that time it was very rare or non-existent to have quick set dates so this one is a very unique piece and yeah also very uh, well very original and we also have this one it's a um, bumper automatic Eterna from 1940s superb all original condition really beautiful white uh, dial with silver um, ring uh, yeah just so so stunning as is this black dial Eterna Matic um, just uh, well yeah simple piece black dial with patina and an engraving on the back and then we've got this crisp zenith and this zenith with green dial this one is very rare uh, to have the green dial like this it's a green vignette dial and just really pretty original condition the dial looks a lot prettier in the flesh than in this video but yeah um, we're, we have to make what we can of it next to it super sharp Tissot C star 7 with white brush dial and another sharp Tissot this one with champagne brush then this super sharp Girard Perigot 
Um, this one has original strap and buckle, is uh, in super crisp condition, looks like it has barely ever been worn. And then we've got this Phoenix DH, this one was German military issued in World War II, um, has the DH markings on the case back as you can see. And next to it we have the Allied Forces, the British military in World War II. This is a Buren Dirty Dozen WWW. Also has the inscriptions on the case back, of course. Uh, if you can see them. Yeah, there we go. And yeah, this one is 36 millimeters. The Phoenix is 34, I believe. Then we've got this 36 millimeter Electra Automatic full steel diver, skin diver. Um, well, now I wouldn't trust to dive. I wouldn't trust it to dive with, but um, yeah, very beautiful black glossy dial with an ETA movement inside and a very good price. And then we've got this Breling Cadet Chronograph from 1950, beautiful piece. And then Jules Auricost Type 20 Civilian Edition, very rare. And lastly, the Breitling 765 AVI from 1953. This one um, fully original and yeah, just rare to find the original one from 1953. There's a re-edition now, which is a lot cheaper. This one is an expensive watch, as is the Jules Auricost. Anyway, that's it. Hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, um, you can find the Reddit link in the description below, or you can also message me on Instagram at cabawatch.idn. Um, just send me pictures with what you like, if you want info or price or whatever on it, and we'll go from there. Bye bye.